Good morning, students. In our chapter, application of derivatives from the exercise 6.1, already we have complete four questions, and now today we have to start from question number five. And the question number five is given: a stone is dropped into a quiet lake, and waves move in circles at a speed of five centimeter per second. At the instant when the radius of the circular wave is 8 cm, how fast is the enclosed area increasing? So now one thing we know, when we drop a stone in a quiet lake, so obviously it forms a circle and now some waves are moved in a circle at a speed of here, speed is given 5 cm per second. And now here at the instant when the radius of the circular wave is 8 cm that means the question is given when the radius is 8 cm how fast is the enclosed area increasing that means we have to find out the increasing rate of the area of circle so for that reason here first of all we need the formula of area of a circle and if we represent area by a and radius by r then obviously the formula is a equal to pi r square and now here we need the rate so that's why this area we have to define set with respect to t so that's why when we have to define set this area with respect to t da by dt then we have to write ddt of pi r square so pi is the constant term and we have to define set this r square with respect to time t when we have to define set, first of all we assume this r square as an t using the chain rule all of you know and if you define set this one then we get the result is twice r but it is not t so that's why again we have to define set this r. So finally da by dt equal to we get twice pi r dr dt and now here if you see the speed is given 5 cm per second the rate so that's why here dr dt equal to 5 cm per second this type of one question already we have done in example so dr dt equal to 5 cm per second the rate of the radius and also given here the radius is 8 cm so this radius value and this dr dt value if we put then dr dt equal to here we get twice pi into 8 into 5 ultimately 80 pi so this 80 pi is our required answer hence when the radius of the circular wave is 8 centimeter the enclosed area is increasing at the rate of 80 pi centimeter square per second so this one is our required answer is it clear okay now after completing this five next question is here given the question number six if you see this question number six a very simple question this one the radius of a circle is increasing at the rate of 0.7 centimeter per second so what increasing radius so that means if we define the radius by r then dr dt is given here is not it dr dt equal to given 0.7 centimeter per second so first of all listen carefully first of all what you have to do we have to write given that dr dt equal to 0.7 centimeter per second and then after that you see what is the rate of the increase of its circumference circumference means perimeter or circumference of a circle all of you know the formula is what twice pi r and if we denote the circumference by c and the radius r then the formula we have to write c equal to twice pi r and we have to find out the rate of increase of its circumference that means this circumference we have to define set with respect to time so when we define set with respect to time so dc by dt we have to write and twice pi r this twice pi is what constant term 
so that's why we if we take outside then only r remains so twice pi into d dt of r ultimately dr dt so no need to write in this way dc by dt equal to dc by dr dr dt no need to write you can directly write and how can we write dc dt equal to twice pi constant term come outside and just we have to define set this r that means radius dr by dt so if we write this one now here you see ddr of here in uh, ddr of twice pi r dr dt using chain rule here written like in this way no need to write directly you can write twice pi into dr dt is it clear so already i told that dr dt value is given and this one is 0.7 centimeter per second so that's why if you put this value then the rate of increase of the circumference is we get here 1.4 pi centimeter per second is it clear okay so next one is question number seven if you see the question number seven here the question number seven is given the length of x of a rectangle is decreasing so this type of one example already you have done so now here the decreasing increasing meaning is if you see here the length of x of a rectangle is decreasing at the rate so that means here directly we know decreasing means negative so that means here dx dt equals to given minus 5 centimeter per minute as well as the white y is increasing so increasing means positive so that's why dy dt equal to given here 4 centimeter per minute and now here given when x equal to 8 centimeter y equal to 6 centimeter find the rate of change so that means here that means here what you have to do first of all we have to find out the perimeter as well as the second one is we have to find out the area of the rectangle perimeter so at first we write dx dt equal to minus 5 centimeter per minute because decreasing and we write dy dt equal to 4 centimeter per minute because increasing and then after that we write x equal to 8 centimeter and y equal to 6 centimeter and now we have to write down the perimeter so perimeter of a rectangle all of we know the formula if we define the perimeter by p then the formula is 2 times x plus y that means length plus width so now here we have to find out the rate rate of change so that's why this perimeter we have to define set with respect to time so if we define set 2 is constant term come outside then if we define set x then dx dt plus if we define set y then it is dy dt so after writing this one dx dt value already given dy dt value is already given so if we put this two value finally if we calculate then the answer is we get here minus 2 centimeter per minute is it clear okay so that means negative value that means what we can say here from conclusion the perimeter is decreasing at the rate of 22 centimeter per minute because here it is neg negative so that's why it is decreasing okay now the next one is given area of rectangle so area of rectangle formula all of you know length into breadth so that's why here we write x into y here it is not v it is x into y area of a rectangle if we denote by a then we write x into y so when we define say, this one with respect to time then the multiplication formula all of you know dx dt into y plus x into dy dt we write this and finally we get here dx dt value we know minus 5 so that's why minus 5y plus 4x because dy dt is 4 4x after writing this one dy dt value is this one and since we know the value of x and y x and y given so that's why if we put as x and y here so dy dt value is ultimately we get here 2 centimeter square per minute so here this one is a positive value positive value means what we can say it is increasing is it clear so hence the area of the rectangle is increasing at the rate of 2 centimeter square per minute is it clear okay now after that the next question is if you see question number 8 
the question is given here a balloon which always remains spherical on inflation is being inflated by pumping in 900 cubic centimeter of gas per second find the rate at which the radius of the balloon increases when the radius is 5 centimeter first of all a balloon which always remains spherical so that means here the volume increases at the rate of 900 cubic centimeter per second so when a balloon of the shape sphere so that means here volume mentioned so that means here we need the volume of a sphere formula and all of you know the volume of a sphere formula is if we define volume v and the radius is r then the volume of a sphere equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube all of you know this one and now here volume rate is given that means dvdt is given here dvdt is given 900 cubic centimeter per second so that means here if we define say this one with respect to time then dvdt equal to you see here directly we can write here 4 by 3 pi constant term we can take outside then just we have to define set r cube and when we define set r cube then we write 3 r square but it is not t so that's why again we have to define set and ultimately 3 r square 3 3 cancel so ultimately here remain how much 4 pi r square because when we define set r cube then we get the answer is 3 r square and this 3 cancel with 4 by 3 this denominator 3 and ultimately here remain 4 pi r square and with this drdt and now here already i told dvdt is given 900 so in place of dvdt we have to put 900 and then we write 900 equal to 4 pi r square into drdt and from here drdt value easily we can find out drdt equal to we get here 225 by pi r square and now at the same time if you see the question here the radius is given 15 centimeter so in place of r if we put 15 then here we get the finally the answer is what drdt equal to 1 by pi after calculation hence here easily we can say here the rate at which the radius of the balloon increases when the radius is 15 centimeter is how much the rate is here 1 by pi centimeter per second is it clear the rate of the radius is here 1 by pi centimeter per second so this one is our answer so in this way if you see the next question question number nine question number nine is again if you see a balloon which always remains spherical has a variable radius find the rate at which its volume is increasing with the radius when the when the letter is 10 centimeter so that means here in this case in this case the volume shape uh, the volume of a balloon that means first of all the balloon shape balloon shape is sphere so that means we need here volume of a sphere and the volume of a sphere formula all of you know if the volume is v and the radius is r then we can write v equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube is not it and now here we have to find out find the rate at which its volume is increasing now one thing you see here we have to find out the rate with respect to radius in earlier cases with respect to time we have to find out but here the question strictly mentioned here find the rate at which its volume is increased with the radius that means with the radius means with respect to here radius we have to define say this one so when we have to write, define say this one dv by dr equal to ddr of 4 pi r cube so now 4 by uh, 4 by 3 pi is constant term come outside then simply here remain r cube and if we define say this r cube then we have to write 4 by 3 pi r cube means 3 r square is it clear so 3 3 cancel so here 4 pi r square remain 
and now here at the same time the radius is also mentioned radius is 10 centimeter so if we put this radius then dv by dr equal to ultimately we get here 400 pi so hence our conclusion is what the volume of the balloon is increasing at the rate is how much 400 pi centimeter cube per second is it clear so today we have complete nine questions and you have to copy this nine question properly in your copy and in our next class we have to continue this exercise and we start from question number 10 that's all thank you